this is a video about this this module right here and it is a it is a bass drum module it is beautiful lately i've been interested in building um analog drums and drum machines and stuff and well that's why i decided to build this this kick for the modular very cool very very very, very cool um um, um, the circuit is a simple twin T drum based around the CD4069 X inverter chip. And that's the same chip I used for my state variable filter in a video a while ago. It is based on circuits by Elliot Williams in his Logic Noise article series. And I will link the drum article in the description below. Twin T drums are really sort of soft and mellow sounding. So I also added a distorted output for the module. And I used the unused hex inverters of the 4069 for the overdrive. So you still only need one 4069 chip. Here is the schematic. Um, this part of the circuit is a trigger conditioner that converts any gate signal to a short trigger pulse because that is what you need for the twin T drum. And this is the drum part of the circuit, so the twin T filter. And it's a simple, I think, a notch filter that is just on the edge of self-oscillation. So when you feed it a short trigger pulse, then it rings sort of, sort of like a drum. I also added a simple RC filter to the output of the drum because you might want to get rid of the sort of higher frequencies of the initial clicking sound of the trigger. And this is the overdrive circuit. I also added an optional diode clipping circuit to the output so you can get even more distortion and you activate it with a switch. I used LEDs for the diodes, but you can use different diodes to get a different sound. There are separate outputs for the dry drum sound and then the distorted one. And that's about it. Okay, let's let's build a kick drum. Yay! Okay.
There it is. Woo. Woo. While I was building this, I also added a manual trigger. But it's just a momentary switch with 5 volts going through it. Yeah. Well, this is what the drum sounds like. The controls of the module sort of affect each other because it's a simple circuit, but we don't mind that. And then here we have the switch, the switch for the RC filter. So it makes the initial clicking sound a bit more mellow. So you can make this sort of old Casio style soft sounds. Base. And then here is the whoop, distorted output. With more drive. And then with the diode clipping. And of course you can use the RC filter with the distorted sound as well. Then I will plug a clock signal to the trigger input of the module. And then I will mess around with the controls. That is the sound of the kick drum module. Woohoo! And now I will try and use it in some sort of a patch and sort of in a more musical context. So let's see what happens.
Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. Peace. Bye.